Mace tonight. Mace tonight. Feathering in the edges uh, where we can and actually making the edges where we have to. So we have a, we've had a change of plans. Oh yeah, we did. After, yeah, we did major change of plans. After looking at the, uh, the panel and laying it out, I thought, you know, uh, I, I usually don't make flat panels. Well, I never make flat panels. I've never seen you make a flat panel. No, don't make flat panels. But you know why? Because they're flat and boring. They're flat and boring. Yeah. But I see, I've I, I worked with hot rods a lot, and a lot of their interiors are flat and boring. Flat and boring, yeah. Spend like $100,000 like, on like the car. With a handle on it, and maybe a pocket. And, and a little stripe or something. They, yeah, like a, like a little rainbow or something. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty stupid looking. Yeah, they're, they're sad. Sad. So, uh, when I laid it out, though, I came up with an idea to sort of give it some uh, texture and shape. And we'll be doing that on these panels. Absolutely. And, and it's a big responsibility for me. Yeah, well, not really, because I'm watching you like a hawk. It's fun to do, isn't it? It is. It's a lot more fun than everything else that I do normally. And including sweeping floors. No. That's never fun. Never. Unless you find, like, a $5 bill or something. I mean, I like to use a vacuum. Yeah. Oh. I don't know why. At my house, though. Because it, it, it either sucks or blows. That's pretty creepy. <laughs> of sag in there because it gives you a nice uniform uh okay what do you want bud? <laughs> what do you need is that coffee from did you make yeah that? no i didn't make it okay that's probably from four days ago okay okay don't use, okay. Don't use the bathroom bathroom is bad i only use this technique when i'm doing this concave kind of look and really the whole reason for that on his door panel is you know as we talked about in the beginning of the the video uh, this, these door panels have to be flat, fairly flat, but I still want them to have texture. I don't want that look of a you know, street rod all flat with just some stripes on it. I'm trying to get some texture to it. So that's why I use this technique, plus the fact that it saves a lot of material and time. Instead of filling this whole thing up and trying to get the sag and everything and you know, with, with Bondo or whatever and adding weight to the door, I have like maybe a, an eighth inch thick piece right now. And after coarsely sanding, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a skim coat on that and then, and then clean up the edges. And then I'll be ready to feather that in. Once I get to this basically level where I'm really trying to just fill in and smooth instead of just, you know, bulk slap putty on, I switch from my uh, 
plastic squeegees to the rubber. Now the rubber, I, I like these for a lot of different things. I used to use them for almost everything. Problem is, uh, these can be cleaned on a sander real quick and they last a really long time compared to these. And the auto parts stores decided that they don't want to sell these. They want to sell these. I have to go to a specialty paint store to actually buy these. And that could be also because these are really not useful unless you're doing real fine curved detail work. But there are some things that you just really, you know, this is really the tool you want to use uh, rather than the rigid plastic. And I like to fill it all in and then channel pressure, try to keep it even. I'm gonna do a little little uh, video, a little interview. Okay, you look pretty. Okay, now wh what is that? What, what do you have there? What we have here is a bleep because we're probably not allowed to say that. Well, don't worry about the bleep bleeps. Okay. I'll, I'll bleep you later. Bleep me later. Um, this was purchased off of Amazon, and this is supposed to be running. <laughs> what? A I am Amazon. A a Amazon. This is supposed to be running an 1800 watt amp. Okay. Let me show you the size of this wire. See how teeny tiny that is? You see how big the outside is? Hold it the down by your shirt. We'll get a better view. Like in front. That's it. There you go. Okay. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Can you, can, you, can you see it like that? Can you see how big the actual shielding is compared yes, to the can. wire? Yes, we can. So the outside of the wire is technically the same size as 4 gauge. But that doesn't matter because what matters is the inside. So let's take a look at this compared to our 8 gauge, which is supposed to be half the size of 4 gauge. Our 8 gauge is way bigger than their 4 gauge. So I'd say this is in reality about 10 gauge. Hold them up. Down, lower, lower. Okay. Do you see that? That's terrible. This amp is going to burn up in days. And I told him <laughs> that. And he's okay with it. Because he spent $16 on an amp kit. And our amp kit costs. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, but Do yourself a favor and invest in a good amp kit. If you don't get good wire, you're going to buy a lot of amps. And not the energy drinks. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life.